Welcome chess kids, you had about 1 billion videos you could have been watching on YouTube, but you chose to watch mine. Thank you. Today, we're going to look at how to beat a world champion in under 20 moves. Now, anytime you win a game in less than 20 moves, we call that a miniature. And guess what? Vichy Anon, the five-time world champion, actually has a couple of new videos on Chess Kid about the same subject of miniatures in his own games. But we're not going to look at Vichy's game today. We're going to look at a game where a world champion lost in a miniature. Max Ive. Looks like Max Yui, but, uh, well, my Dutch is probably pretty bad. But in any case, this was a simul. Do want to let you know, world champions don't usually lose in less than 20 moves in a regular game, which means a lot of players were going up against Max. And in this position, Max had the black pieces. A quick count of the material. Did you count quickly? Black is ahead by two pawns, and white has very bad pawns over here on the king side. Now, if this was an over-the-board chess game, I bet Max would have played a little bit better defense in this position. Here, his queen's in danger, his pawn is in danger, and he has a very weak diagonal to his king. You can't stop all three problems, but if he had this game to play over again, he might have played a move like queen to d8. That basically solves two problems. It saves the queen, and it also prepares for this check by being able to block on d7, and the queen defends the bishop. Now, it does lose this pawn, but don't forget about x-ray defense Black can save his rook here by playing queen to f6 and also target the white rook. And after this queen trade, which is probably going to happen in some form, I think black is perfectly fine. Don't forget, if you're up two pawns and you have to give one back to survive, no big deal. Go to the end game with your extra pawn. Now let's go back and see what decision Max actually made. He decided to guard the queen and guard g7, trying to keep all of his pawns, but I don't think the greed is going to work out here. He played the move queen to g5. Now, after bishop check, you don't really want to play bishop to d7 because let's calculate. I take, you take, my queen takes this pawn with check, threatening your rook as well, and I don't want to play black in that position. So, after bishop to b5 check, black had to move the king over. And then, a general developing move, whenever you can get a piece to a better square with tempo, you probably should. So, knight to e4. Knight's in a good spot. The knight's actually going to be pretty useful in just a minute, as you're about to see. And the queen moves back to e7. Now, I haven't shown you this, but we're already on move 16. Somehow white won the game in three more moves. Amazing. Next move for white, another general developing move. Putting the rook on the open file with rook to d1. Now, black's got this development problem. Black really wants to play bishop to d7. That helps guard his back rank with the rook. And also, his bishop gets out. His bishop might come to a square c6 and attack this strong knight in the center. So, black plays the very logical move, a6, with the idea that, hey, if the bishop runs away, my bishop gets out, my rook guards my back rank. And if your bishop goes this way, maybe I play b5, forcing your bishop away. Then my bishop can even come to the square b7. And if black catches up in development, the two extra pawns are going to win the day eventually. So in this position, White had to figure out, what do I do after a6? I can't just play some sort of passive move. This is actually the shocker. This is a move that would be very hard to see in a regular game, let alone a simul where you're playing maybe 20 people at once. All right, kids, put on your thinking caps. White to move and win in this position. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you still thinking? Maybe you've unpaused your video. I don't know what you've done. I don't know where you are, but if you found the move queen to a3, holy cow, you might be the world champion someday. Now, why is this move so hard to find? Well, it's not a check. It's not a capture. It's not even a threat. It doesn't fulfill any of our hierarchy of chess needs. But what it does is it pins the queen. So if you do nothing important, I will just play the move rook to d8, mate. Now, if you try to block with your knight, Rook to d8 still works, because after your knight blocks, I simply take, and it's checkmate in two moves. So that's not going to work. Okay, of course, I'm also pinning this pawn, by the way, in case you take my bishop, your rook's hanging. But the funny thing is, if you take my bishop, I'm not even going to take your rook. I'm just going to play rook to d8. And even though it looks like both my pieces are hanging, well, they're not. It's checkmate. Okay, very, very hard position for black to deal with. He's probably already lost. He might need to give up a piece here, just to be able to have his rook guard his back rank. Now, of course, the million dollar question is what happens if the queen is just captured? Well, remember how I said this knight's going to play an importance here? Then we have rook to d8 check, 
king moves and look at this crazy little mate. It's so crazy, I don't even think it has a name. But notice how important the knight is. The knight keeps the king out of those dark squares while the bishop and rook take care of all the other squares. That is a very fancy checkmate. In this position, I don't have any advice for Max Oive. I don't know what to do. Maybe run for the hills? Here's what he tried to do. He played the move g6 to give his king a little bit of luft, a little bit of air, but after rook to d8 check, he just resigned. Very funny position. The bishop looks like it's hanging, and the queen looks like it's hanging, the rook looks like it's hanging, but yet black has to tip the king over. The reason that he resigned, if king to g7, the only piece guarding the queen is the knight, and if you've been doing your chess kid tactics, you know it's a simple remove the guard puzzle. Rook takes knight as check. On the next move, we pick up the queen, and there you go. World Champion goes down in 19 moves. That's a miniature. And if you want to see more miniatures, check out those Vichy videos. Link down below.